Welcome to my tutorial on the Yukon YK302 humidity temperature controller. I bought this controller on the internet and I opened up the box only to find that the instructions are Chinese and I haven't had a clue how to follow the, the instructions. You can just throw them away. Very confusing. You get all these cables coming out the back. So I had a chat come around and we both sort of figured out how to set this up. So I'm just going to run a tutorial for all those people to buy this controller and you want to run a um, uh, temperature and humidity controller which I do here on my fridge this is going to become my curing chamber I'm not going to go into details you're going to see a lot of these on the internet but yes you've got basically a curing chamber this is my fridge which I'm busy making up and there's the temperature sensor and the humidity sensor and down at the bottom part of the fridge I have a humidifier. So um, this fridge needs to be controlled, switched on and off by this controller. That's sort of the setup. And I also want to run humidity um, with, with my humidifier that I've got in the fridge. So how does all this cabling work? In the box, you get this controller. You also have a switch, which has got these, um, these connectors, which is pretty straightforward. Um, the cable out the back there's only one cable that goes on to here and then you also get a AC AC 20 volt to 250 volt um, adapter also in the box so these are the three components you get in the box um, and then all you have to guide you is this wiring complex um, and if you're not an electrician you haven't got a clue what what you're looking at so I pulled this off the internet um, on Alibaba, they had this version here, which is from the Yukon site. And they don't even have a website. I emailed them um, asking them for instructions, but they're sitting in China and they don't even understand my email. So you've got these um, eight outlets in the back. One, two, eight. There they're marked there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this diagram is represented. So one is your public line, and then you can add these items here. You can put up the fan, a humidifier is number three, a dehumidifier is number four. You can put on a light, and then this item here is pretty important. This 12 volt DC is a relay switch, which switch, switches on the compressor. So line number six is the compressor, which is your fridge. Line number seven are your two sensors. Um, they're straightforward. So here's here's number here's number seven. Here's the cables. Here they come out. Um, they they plug in straightforward, and that and that goes into the fridge. Okay. And then, last but not least, you've got this 12 volt AC relay as well. I I I, I stood here for. I had to try and figure out how to put all of this together. It it gets quite complicated. Do not. Um, get confused by the colors that I'm going to have here. Here's the whole cable mess. It is pretty messy, but once you understand the concept, um, I hope you can follow. All right, so these are my connectors and I've configured them pretty much like I've done this drawing here. So this is number one, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, so it corresponds pretty much to this drawing. So. Number one is your public line, okay? So this public line is your live, all right? So out of number one, this is not reverse, out of number one, here's the red wire dips underneath this spaghetti mess, and then it becomes my public line. That public line feeds into the live wire coming out of the socket that's gonna run it it's going to run this whole setup. It's going to run my fridge, my dehumidifier, everything. So here's the other side of this line. This is what you're going to plug in, all right? Now in Australia, our life colors, my life color is brown for life and blue for neutral. And then I think universally green and white for your earth. So your brown connects to your public 220 volt line. All right, so number one gets connected here. Then you're going to have a um, your neutral, which in Australia is blue. Um, I've 
blue, I've used white wires. That's all I got in the shop. These should have all been blue. They now, this is your neutral line. And the neutral line feeds into each and every item you want to attach. All right, does that make sense? So I've got a neutral for position two, which would be your fan. Position number three is your dehumidifier, which needs a neutral and so forth. Right here at the end, we've got the fridge. So you've got your public line, all right? Then number two, three, four, and five are just your peripherals, I'll get to that. Number six is your fridge. Now, to run your fridge, it runs by, by running a relay switch there. And it's, it's based on a 12 volt DC setup, right? That is this thing here. This is your relay, all right? And the confusing thing is there are two red lines in here. And I couldn't figure it out. It uses a 24 volt feeding line to run this relay switch, which basically is just a, a mechanical switch that cuts this current on and off. That's all it does. So, um, so out of your compressor line, you have this thin little red white line and it can only go in here and it's pole insensitive. It doesn't really matter which way you put it in. Okay, there's no plus or minus on this thing. So you just put those two in. Then you've got to get live wire. Um, in the box, you get these little, um, these little switches. I've used commercial ones. I didn't trust the ones that came in the box. But you basically have these two red wires. One needs to be coming from your public line. All right. And then that live wire this from the switch goes to your compressor, your fridge, which is here. Here it is. Okay. That is position number... Number six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So six is your compressor. Okay. Seven and eight do not extend here. So this is number six. So here is my fridge. So I've got my live wire and I've got my neutral, do, 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 which I've sort of supplied. So as you can see, you know, this one here, here's my fridge cable coming in. Here it is. Here's, you see the bottom of the fridge here it is so my life which is here my brown color excuse the mess here there, there's my brown out of the fridge goes into the red and my blue which is my neutral feeds into these white colors which becomes blue again does that make sense and then out of my fridge i have an earth which i liked to i connected it straight to my plug going to my power supply so that explains this switch here. This switch is is your um, is your number eight 12 volt AC relay to to to, to 20 volt. So this comes in the box. Um, these wires come out of position number eight. So here they are. Here they come. Here they go. And you basically just, it doesn't also, totally plus minus doesn't really matter. I've just chucked them in there. And then the 220, this is where your neutral comes out. All right, because I've been trying to figure out how on earth, where's this neutral coming from? So here's your neutral, all right? It could be blue as well. This blue or white line goes and feeds and becomes the neutral for all your devices. And then this red one here, comes out of your public line all right so that's important so once you set these two up and you've got a relay system I hope this all makes sense so I've got these three one is your public line one goes through to the switch one goes through to your um, position your 12 volt um, your 12 volt uh, uh, 22 volt AC AC adapter and these cables come out the back of the controller. You can't go wrong with those. These cables come out the back of the controller and they've got little switches wired on. You can't, you can't, you can't go wrong, all right? So that's straightforward. So that's the setup, 
Okay, so all you can now do is position number two, which is a fan, at the moment is left empty. I've got nothing, nothing plugged in number two. But in number three, number three is my humidifier. So theoretically, I can switch a humidifier in here, and I do. Okay, here's my brown that goes into my live. Okay, I hope you see that. Here's my... This shouldn't be blue, all right? So this is number, cable number three, the blue cable. Cable number three goes there and becomes the live fire. Cable number four, which is the black one. Here's the black one. Becomes, is, is for the dehumidifier. At the moment that is empty, I can switch a dehumidifier on. The yellow one, is position number what's it, one, two, three, four, is your light. It's also empty. I'm gonna switch a heating lamp in here, all right? But that yellow line comes out here. Does that make sense? So each of these are position two, three, four, and five. Two, three, four, and five are live wires, and they all feed into my little switches here. So. So, two, three, four, five, and each one is the live wire. And then I just piggyback my neutral so that each device has a life and a neutral. So for my humidifier, my brown becomes this blue color, which is illegal in Australia, it shouldn't be blue at all. But that blue comes, becomes the live feed out of the controller. And that's it in essence. All right, and then I'm basically going to put it all into one box and hide the all, all in the back. And then it's straightforward. You switch this item on, and then you can basically just set the temperature and humidity. It's straightforward. Um, it does so after, so I can quickly show you. Let's switch this on. Putting in. Okay, so I've switched this on. So here we go, and now you can just watch all these lights. So it really works. It's now 22 degrees inside my fridge. It's got a two minute re, um, delay switch on. So here it says 78% humidity, and it's 22 degrees. Um, and it, it, we have to wait for two minutes um, for this whole thing to switch on. Um, but in the meantime, here's your humidity set button. I set it to 75% and then when you stop touching it, it will jump back to the reading. There we go. And here's my temperature set. Temperature set. I set it to 12 degrees. Let's bump it up to 18 degrees um, because it should then switch on the fridge. These are just... Um, that's the fridge symbol, and it's basically on standby at the moment. Uh, I haven't seen this light come on, I've only put it together yesterday. That is your fan light, which does come on, um, and for, um, for meat curing, I will put a fan, I will attach little fans to the side of the fridge. Okay, so I've been um, talking away for two minutes, trying to see if this comes on, but by now I'm sure you guys can switch off your video. Um, I hope this sort of makes sense. I hope I save a lot of frustration. So this whole system is now actually live. Um, I hope I will have saved a lot of frustration. Uh, it looks like a whole spaghetti mess. But as soon as you understand how this works, just in summary, that is very important and that is very important. These two are these two here. And the confusing thing for me initially was this red wire that came. There we go. The fridge has just switched on and actually hear it running.